Good morning. And it is the 7th, 7th of April. We've got a whole week into the fourth month of the year. Wouldn't it be nice if we could just attribute this as just another, you know, day, uh, yeah, 7th of April of any year, but it's not, right? So have you taken control of your day in spite of uh, what's going on in the world? Yeah, taking control of your day, really what I mean by is that have you taken control of your mind? Um, are you losing your mind? A lot of people are, and let's admit it, in one way or another, we all are. So uh, even more important now to be mindful and to be aware of the things that you can do and the things you have no control over. And then um, turn that into a formula for um, living life to its fullest. So. Uh, taking control of your day, as I always say, starts with the moment you wake up. How are you waking up? Are you waking up with intention? Are you just rolling right over into that look at your social media or the phone or the news to see how bad the co COVID, uh, I even forgot the name of it, COVID-19, coronavirus, <laughs> how bad it is today, what the numbers look like, um, when will life get back to normal, will life ever get back to normal? Yeah. Uh, you know, I was caught up in um, a little bit of anxiety this morning because I am involved in a, um, a uh, coaching program and I'm always working on improving myself prior to any uh, of this pandemic that happened. Unprecedented occurrence, this big change, this new norm, all the things that you're hearing, all the terminologies you're using. And, uh, and the anxiety for me was just not really being able to express myself in a meeting with a bunch of people. And it's like, oh, that's my turn to talk. So just so I'm noticing um, I'm having less patience. You know why? Because things are changing constantly. You just as soon as you get become accustomed to one thing, there's another change. And so the beauty of being involved with other people of like minds, or let's just put it this way, people that might have more of a positive insight or more of a perspective on how to get through these sorts of things based on issues like this in the past that have come up. Nothing's come up that's quite like this, but there have been other things. It's called, it's just getting through um, adversity, you know? Um, it's an adversity, it is. And it's also, we're all also experiencing grief. You know, we've got all this, life isn't the same anymore. So once again, important to wake up very first thing you do is is have intention and document what you're grateful for really get a great perspective on that especially now what what did you get done yesterday you know what are the types of things that you noticed yesterday that were awesome that were great in spite of and in light of this stuff going on okay and then you obviously have things to do and if you don't you need to find some things to do that could even mean you want to binge watch. I, I don't think that it's really a good idea to do nothing but that because you're, once again, you're allowing somebody else to control your life and your mind and everything else. But if it's a creative outlet, if it's a relaxation, that's great. But moderation, routine, normalcy, it's really important that we focus on how do we get there, right? So having a list of things to get done is extremely important too. It gives you structure, it gives you hope and it gives you faith and relatability. Plugging into other people in big meetings, even if you get anxious because it's your turn to talk and you want to say something and, or you just can't stand what that one person said and you want to correct them, whatever it might be. Interaction, communications, patience, um, extremely important. Those need to be on your to-do list. They are on mine. Yeah, setting the bigger goals and, um, and even with this going on, you can do that. Whether it be related to your own career, maybe it's related to a career you might think of changing to, or maybe it just might be dealing with the moment right now and getting through this moment or helping somebody that is in need uh, and just being open to it. You know, I had reached out to a friend while I was, you know, feeling anxious who said, you know what, it's a choice. Attitude's a choice. And sometimes you just don't want to hear that either. <laughs> So we get stuck in our minds for sure, and it is easy to change. It is, it is really simple, but not easy. That's what I really meant to say. So when something is really simple like that, and it's the best in your best interest to act on it, you really should, even if it's difficult, because it's just gonna, it's gonna do nothing but help. Um, and sometimes too, if you, 
if you think that someone might be good for something else, and I'm talking about like an espousal relationship, if you think that you want that your partner to, to act a certain way, do a certain thing, or think a certain way, you need to figure out a way to let them come to that conclusion on their own. Because nobody really likes to be told what to do or what to think. It's the ultimate criticism, you know? So uh, be mindful of that. Be mindful of the fact that the things that you don't like done to you, you probably don't want to do that to other people. And are you doing that? So mindfulness is huge. And it's part of going back to what I originally start with on August 28th when I first started doing these. Waking up with intention. Um, expressing gratitude. And, and try it a different way every day. So it's not just a little habit you're doing. And then listing out all the things you want to accomplish and pay attention to today. Uh, hardest thing first. That's going to help you, uh, going to catapult you into getting all the other things done. And at the end of the day, reward yourself. Maintain a structure like that every day, consistently and persistently. And you're going to be standing above uh, what most people... Are, I mean, not that you want to be better than anyone else, is you want to be your best self. In order to be your best self is not to cave uh, when, when the weaknesses that you know about, you know, get you down. Um, everybody's going through this. You can't escape it. But the best way to deal is to be your best self and to be the happiest, the most content, the most loving, compassionate person you can be. Don't you think? Uh, just putting it out there. <laughs> so be present, um, be helpful, be kind and be compassionate and be loving to as many people as you possibly can, but mostly to yourself. So uh, with that said, have an amazing Tuesday and the rest of your week, and I will be talking to you soon. All right, see ya.